Emerge your architecture goes the Agile mantra. That's great. Developers get empowered and fluffy papers make room for real code structure. But how do you ensure the cohesiveness of the result? Let's take a closer look at the issue. This is a software system. It is irregular, it is intricate, it is contextual. This is another software system. It's irregular, it is intricate, it's contextual. The two systems have radically different shapes. Perhaps that's because they come from different domains, which they do. But is this really the only reasons why they look so different? Let's take a step back. This is a class. It's a simple class. There's really nothing special about it, just some attributes and some methods. And looking at it through the lenses of an editor makes us feel in control. There are clear boundaries that shows us where the class begins and where it ends. A UML diagram provides us with the same kind of confidence. The structure is rather clear. But let us now adopt a different point of view. Here's a visualization of the same class. It shows the class in black connected to its methods in red and its attributes in blue. The picture retains again a certain regularity which reassures our sense of control. But if we add some collaborators to this class, the picture changes slightly. There is particularly one method that would rather be closer to the other classes to the right than to its own class. And if we add more classes, the, chain, the shape changes even more. Some methods want to escape completely. And if we take a look at the whole system, our class is not recognizable at all. That well-formed shape with clear and controllable boundaries is just gone. Now let's take a look at the system. This is a tiny system. And this is another tiny system. In fact, these two systems do the same thing, and that's a result of small teams of students working for about six weeks. But do you notice how even if they do the same thing, they have radically different shapes? These three systems also produce the same thing, and are also the result of small teams of students working for six weeks but they have radically different shapes. And these two systems too have the same functionality, but they have radically different shapes. Architecture is not a document. It is the structure of the system. It emerges out of tiny independent commits. It emerges out of changes in requirements. It emerges out of experience. It emerges out of dreams. It emerges out of human interaction. Architecture gets shaped whether you want it or not, because architecture is an emergent property. Who controls it? Nobody. Nobody controls it because nobody can. Architecture is a commons. It can't be controlled, but it can be shepherded and steered. And who does that? The team does that. Continuously, consciously.